Hello and welcome to another video walk around by myself, Parker, and today we're going to be looking at a 2016 Toyota RAV4 XLE. This is a four-door, five-passenger, all-wheel drive SUV in orange. And under the hood, you'll find a 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine, and you'll be riding up a 17-inch alloy wheels. Some of your exterior features include your daytime running lights, your fog lamps, your blind spot monitoring, and your roof rails. Now why don't we head inside and see what else this RAV4 has to offer. Helping us inside, we've got our key fob, we've got the lock and unlock buttons, we've got our power back door button, plus we have our panic button. So we'll unlock once for the driver's side door, twice for all four. We'll check out our back seat first. So we have lots of space back here for our passengers, and we also have that center piece that comes right out and has those two cup holders on it. So lots of space back here for us. And we've got a 12 volt DC outlet just below in the center console. Opening our driver's door, you can see we have all four window buttons, lock and unlock and window lock. Plus we've got some storage space just underneath here. We have that beautiful RAV4 badging, welcoming us into our vehicle with the automatic adjuster and lumbar support. Just to the left of the steering wheel, you can see we have our all wheel drive lock and then we have the mirror adjuster as well. Some of that beautiful detail stitching along there with along the black leather. Pop the key inside and we're good to go. We'll just wait for the beeping to stop. We're gonna be using the right-hand side of the steering wheel to navigate our multi-information display. Just looking at a few of the different readouts it wants to give us. We have our blind spot monitoring we can turn on and off as well. We can also change whether our power back door uh, works or um, opening an adjustment and all those little pieces, uh, changing the volume as well. So lots of little things inside here for you to check out. We'll keep it right there. Left hand side you can see we have our volume, we have the channel selector, we also have our hands free calling mode and voice recognition. Right hand side is the trip. We have our uh, cruise control there as well. Looking a little closer at our entertainment system, we've got our audio, we have the AM, FM, CD, USB, Bluetooth and auxiliary and our car gives us some consumption rates. We can look at our past record as well. We can look at our backup camera giving us a nice little view of what's going on behind us. A little below that, we've got our dual zone climate system operated on dial for the driver and passenger side, front and rear defrost as well as our intensity and function uh, right in the middle. We can sync them up right away and all that'll do is bring us to our driver's temperature. So we'll turn that right off. Below that, you can see we have our heated front seats for our driver and passenger set to high and low. Respectively, we also have our eco and sport mode for different driving styles in the city. And we also have our rain sensing windshield wipers, our USB auxiliary and 12 volt DC outlet with some space just underneath here for whatever you might need, maybe a cup or something along those lines. We've also got our standard mode. We can pop it right down and over and we can shift up and down, giving us more control over our vehicle. Looking at our center console, we've got our first shelf and we have our second shelf. All the room you might need for anything quick access to. We've got a storage shelf just in front of our passenger and more of that detailing just along our dashboard. And below that, popping inside, you can see we have some room for our user manual, some Kleenexes and anything else we might need quick access to. Last couple features, as always, we have the sunglass hutch opening that up and making sure that we'll pop our glasses in there so we don't sit on them as I do all the time. Then we have the open and close and up and down for our power sunroof. Now why don't we head back and take a look at cargo. So we're going to hop into the cargo area. All we'll do is hold our button on the key fob and our power rear gate is going to open for us. And we'll look at what we have going on back here. We do have that all weather mat so we don't ruin our upholstery. We have our privacy screen as well. And you'll notice we have the 60-40 splitting rear seats. So if we need anything larger or longer in here, all we have to do is pop those seats right down. It's going to be no issue for us. So we'll close right up, pressing our button. Once again, does all the work for us. Let's take a last look at our 2016 RAV4 XLE. Once again, some of your great interior features include your heated front seats, your Bluetooth compatibility, and your backup camera for all your convenience needs. But there's a whole lot more I didn't get a chance to show you coming in and take it for a test drive. We're here at Toyota Northwest Edmonton in the corner of 137th Avenue and St. Albert Trail. Thank you again for watching this walk around video. My name is Parker and until we see you, drive safe.